Hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today I am sharing a pantry organization with Life With Pantry Bins. If you are interested in seeing what I am doing today in my pantry, just keep on watching. I am collaborating again with LifeWit. LifeWit has so many organization and storage solutions. I am working with the LifeWit large plastic storage bins that are perfect for the pantry, freezer, kitchen sink, organization, and more. These storage bins are designed to save more space and by clarifying and storing items in different bins, you can find things when you need them. Keeping your pantry, freezer, storage room, kitchen in order. An ideal choice for family storage. It is so versatile that it can be used anywhere in your home. They're sturdy and durable, made of high quality, plastic, BPA free. The transparent material allows you to see contents in a glance. The bins are easy to clean and it is recommended that you wash them by hand with mild soapy water. These are not dishwasher safe. Easy to use with the built-in handles on both sides of the box. You can easily grab and move these portable bins around your home, making everyday storage easy. So right now I'm gonna take you in to the pantry, it's all set up. Let me scan it briefly for you and then I'll show you around. Now we purchased these shelving units from Sam's when we first moved into our home. Um, these are actually shelves that you can use in a garage. If you go in Sam's, you will see these over there where the shelving units are in the garage section. I wanted something sturdy and a bit massive because it could take this room this pantry can take that all right i am going to start over here at the top sharing all of my serving wear i think the majority of these i think all of them i found thrifting So I absolutely love that. Paid a little or nothing for those. And they wrap all the way around. And I mean all of them I found thrifting, all right? And sorry for that light there. Let me scoot up a bit and pan back around. In the middle there are what's left of my chargers because I purged a lot of chargers. <laughs> I mean a lot of them. All right, 
So the next shelf, if you've been with me for a while, you know these bins from Dollar Tree. I've had them for uh, several years now and ever since I've been on YouTube. Um, I love these because they have the handle. I can pull it down and get what I need <laughs> and put it back up, all right? So yes, love those. Um, I have pastas in here, like my spaghetti, pastas, rices, broth, uh, cornbread mix, uh, things for salads like croutons, bacon bits, and different mixes in this basket like onion mix, uh, the seasonings, taco mix, etc. In those. Now this shelf here, all of my canned goods. Alright. I purchased I think one of these shelves from Amazon and then found two at Walmart. Alright. But they hold quite a bit of canned goods and that's what I love. I have some extras over here on the side so I'll pull from those before I touch any of these. Alright. <laughs> now here are the pantry bins from Life Wit. And I love these, I love these. And these are housing the things that my grandson would want when he comes home, all right? <laughs> when he comes home from daycare, he will grab out of these, all right? These are some of his favorites that he loves to snack on, um, especially the veggies. He loves to snack on the veggies. I drain the liquid out of it and he eats those, so I love that. Down below are also some bins from Dollar Tree. Had them for many, many years. And they hold all of our snack items, okay? Like my tortilla chips. Um, and I have tucked in the back, you know, different salsas. Things for ice cream. And the cherries. I have different types of crackers in this basket and have some tucked in the back there and then different fruit cups for all of us and down below are my larger chafing dishes that i have not used in some time because of the big c right uh, we 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 haven't had a large a very large family gathering in about two and a half years so haven't used those in quite a while. I'm gonna go to the middle section and work my way up. <laughs> Down below are some beverages that I keep on hand. Right here is my popcorn maker. Um, I had a popcorn or a movie bar and I took it down. And uh, I kept my popcorn machine and I just created a space here in my pantry so when we want to pull it out, we can. And we have everything that we need right here in this basket. Tray, by the way, I purchased a couple of these from Home Goods. They are by H, excuse me, RGI Home. I am looking for some more. I kept the tags on here so I remember the name. <laughs> but I bought quite a few of those. The next shelf I have for breakfast and we have cereal I have two containers like this uh, let's scoot it over here so you can see for cereal I think I got it in here backwards or my son put it in here backwards um, but yeah it's a seal tight container uh, with my special K and I have Cheerios in the back have two and then I have a tray here for the family. I used to set up a breakfast bar on my countertop and decided to put it in here. So we have one shelf specifically for breakfast. So we have oatmeal, breakfast bars, things of that nature in this basket. And here's another one of these tags with RGI Home. And you can see the price of the baskets there. I'm looking for more of these baskets. <laughs> They're hard to find. Uh, the next shelf is baking items. You can see towards the back, I have a uh, 
beautiful crystal cake dish that either my mother-in-love or my sister-in-love gave me for my birthday, I think last year. Um, so I have that back there. I have two glass pedestals back there. Uh, a trifle dish here. But I have things that I would use for baking. You know, different cake mixes. Um, baking, co uh, baking cocoa and different things of that nature. Uh, this basket was by Storehouse. This also came from Home Goods, and it was around the same price. So if I can find between the two, I am good. Looking for probably two more. Up above here is where we keep our lunch boxes and like uh, our metal to go cups, which you see they're not here. Uh, we're using them at the moment, so <laughs> they're not here, but this is where our metal cups go. And I shared with you the chargers and all of the thrifted dishes that I have found. So I'm going to start with this one. Up top here is a bin, a clear bin that I keep storage, uh, food storage containers here. Uh, this is used a lot uh, when like my son comes home from Gainesville or my son's girls friends come over and they eat and want to take leftovers. They know to go here, all right? Right here. Uh, you've seen these containers before, these glass jars. They hold different pastas, different rice, flour, uh, everything pretty much. And I am on in search of two more to go right here. <laughs> so this is a ongoing project. Um, right here are some different condiments and I need to go to the grocery store and uh, add to some of this. I need to put on my uh, list mayo and different things of that nature but I try not to keep too too much. Um, just enough and it works for us all right. Maybe two or three um, items of each like the pizza we go through that the pizza sauce quite a bit we also go through uh, jelly we love apple jelly definitely go through <laughs> relish but I try not to keep over two or three items the next item you see those baskets again by RGI home now I can cut these tags off <laughs> right here are aluminum pans and lids that we purchased from Sam's. I use these quite a bit, not only for grilling, I use them for inside as well. Especially on lazy days where I do not want to wash dishes or pots and pans. They really come in handy. But I'm getting low, very low, so it's time to go stock up on more. And this basket here... For entertaining purposes, I have napkins, I have little appetizer spoons and forks and picks, uh, straws, and in the back little cups and different serving things for appetizers. And I know where to go when it's a, a spur of the moment thing or planned. I can come right here and my essentials are right there. Now down below, I have a holder here holding uh, paper goods or plastic plates here. Have some napkins. I do need to restock my plastic wear. And I have some cups back there. That's the everyday use there. Next shelf is holding, uh, next container is holding potatoes and onions. And this next um, bin here holding like my bread and uh, wraps, tortilla wraps that we use not only for a taco night but for uh, wraps for lunch. Now, I'll let you in on something, but don't come to my store. <laughs> this bread here by Walmart, it is the Texas toast. It is sliced. I don't know if you can tell. 
but it's sliced very very thick that is some good good bread <laughs> makes excellent french toast last shelf um that's my ice maker by new air um, and smaller chafing dishes that i have all of those i found thrifting the bigger ones that you saw over here came from Sam's Club. All right, I'm gonna scoot over here. You may see a box or so. Um, any entertainment pieces that I have in a box and don't use at a particular time, they're down below. That's a little storage for me. As well as this opening here on the side, um, I have some large uh, trays and platters over there that will not fit <laughs> in a cabinet. Now I plan on painting this pantry. Did not feel like doing it prior to this video so I'm, I apologize. Um, but this pantry will be painted. Um, oh let me show you this card. This card came from Yata Home and I use it as a baking cart and I hold my KitchenAid on it my recipe book and I was a fan of Pioneer Woman um, so I have a few pieces of her thanks to Christy C <laughs> and some I, I actually got rid of in my last yard sale so um, I like Pioneer Woman and I like her items but um I guess my test my taste is changing so you see a few pieces here of hers um, this here is I have a rolling pin and uh, different mats there to bake on and pans down below of bakeware and it's just easy for me to cart this out or roll this out into my kitchen and work off of this um, we actually had a full-size <laughs> refrigerator here in this area where this car is um, but we gave it to my oldest son when he moved out into his town home a couple of weeks ago that's how big this pantry is all right and I may get another refrigerator but not not that big all right um, we'll see around holiday time if I need it but this is my pantry um, haven't showed showed it since we moved in actually uh, so this is my first time showing it since uh, we moved in what six or seven years ago so I would like to thank life wit for uh, these amazing bins here if you are interested in them, I will have them linked in my description box down below. Uh, you will love them. They're very roomy. I love how wide they are. Um, perfect, perfect for a pantry. Um, I'm actually thinking about ordering some. I may replace these. These aren't hurt, but uh, I kind of like seeing what's in the bins, you know? The, the red bands like you see down below here I can see on top of them but there I can't see everything and it's good to see everything all right but yes I will have life with information linked in my description box down below as well as a discount code for all of my blasties I have worked with life with before I have purchased things uh, prior to working with life with um, there items are amazing don't forget to like comment share subscribe follow me on all of my social media sites and shop my amazon store all of those links can be found in my description box down below thank you so much for watching you take care you be blessed and i will see you on the next video have a blessed beautiful day Please be safe out there and I will talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.